Welcome back to the channel guys. As we all know React Navigation version 2 has been released recently. Most of us must be thinking that ah we just got comfortable with version 1 and now we have version 2. However this was long due and we knew it was in the process. There have been some breaking changes in this version. Starting with this video which is going to be on the stack navigator I'll walk you through those changes to make it easier for you. It's good to know now that the documentation of React Navigation is also much better than it was for version 1. So without wasting any more time let's begin. So here in front of me, I have an empty React Native project that I've opened up in Visual Studio Code and I have it running on my simulator. We'll start by installing React Navigation. So open up the terminal and type npm install React Navigation. This will automatically install the latest version. Once we have React Navigation installed, just run npm install again to make sure that all the dependencies that are required are installed. Once that's done, just restart your React Native project and you should be good to go. Now it's time to create our first stack navigator. So earlier, what we used to do is we used to import something known as stack navigator from react navigation. Now what we import is something known as create stack navigator. It more or less does the same thing. It's just named differently from react navigation. Now there are two ways of creating our stack navigator here. Let's remove this export default class from here and let's export our stack navigator. So export default, create stack navigator. Our first screen, let's call that login. And we'll say screen, and we'll call this login screen. Just for simplicity, let's rename this class app to login screen. Let's save that. And as we can see, our screen is still showing up and we have this header on top, which indicates that we have our stack navigator. The other way of creating our stack navigator would be to save this into a constant. So let's remove the export default and say constant app stack navigator you can name it anything you want is equal to a create stack navigator and here let's rename this back to app let's export default this class and instead of this view here we'll pass in our app stack navigator if we save that we see we get an error here that's because our login screen now does not exist let's create that login screen so here let's create a new folder called screens and inside that, let's create a new file called login screen. Inside that, we'll import some boilerplate code. You can get access to this snippet from the description. Let's name this login screen. All this snippet is doing is just printing out a new class with the login screen text in the middle. Come back to our app.js and let's import that login screen. So we'll say import login screen from screens login screen. And there we see we have our first screen with our header again. Another thing that's new in React Navigation 2 is we don't need to put in this screen over here. We can directly just say login, put in a colon and say login screen. This is the shorthand method. And we see our screen is still working. Let's create another screen here now. Let's call that the home screen because that's usually the screen we navigate to from the login screen. Again, just some boilerplate code. Let's call this home screen. And let's import this home screen here at the top. So we'll say import home screen from screens slash home screen. Let's put that home screen in here. So we'll say home, which points to home screen. So now we have two screens, but we need to navigate to this home screen from the login screen. So let's do that. Come to the login screen. Let's import a button in here. Let's get rid of this text. In the button, let's put a title which says go to home screen. Then let's put in on press. And the way we do that is the same way we did that in React Navigation 1, which is this dot props dot navigation dot navigate. And we'll call the name that we had given, which was login. Actually, this should be home because we want to go to the home screen from the login screen. So now if we click on this, we see we go to the home screen. But what if we actually had put in login here and not home? What would happen? If we press go to home screen, we see that nothing actually happens. React Navigation 2 is smart enough to detect if this login screen already exists and it does not push another screen onto the stack. However, there may be cases in which you might want to push this screen on top of the stack again. So in that case, what you can do is you can change this to push instead of navigate. Now you can see if you press go to home screen, it creates another screen on top of the previous screen. If you press it again, it creates another screen. This can also be confirmed by pressing the back button. If you press the back button, it takes you to the same screen again and again. 
However, in our case, we'll just leave that to navigate and change that to home. So in our first screen, which is our login screen, we do not want this header on the top. So what we can do here is we can just put in static navigation options is equal to, and we'll say header equal to null. And there our header is gone. Now let's come to our home screen and see how we can go back. One method is this back arrow on top. Another way would be, let's create a button here. Let's just say, go back to login screen and put in an on press, which would be this dot props dot navigation dot go back. Let's test that out. Go to the home screen. We get this button. If we click it, we come back to the previous screen. We can also do one more thing. In case we want to go back to the top of our Stack Navigator, which is our first screen in our Stack Navigator, we can just say navigation.pop to top. In our case, we have only two screens, so it'll pop back to the login screen. Let's just see that. If we click the second one, we see it comes back to the top of the Stack Navigator. So this was a very basic intro into our Stack Navigator. In the next videos, I'll go over the Tab Navigator and the Draw Navigator as well. Till then, please try this out and please like and subscribe.